Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Swadeshi VIP. The ability of an animal to reproduce is one of the most important factors in a dairy herd. Dairy farmers make the most of money if their herd produces one calf crop per year. A strong reproduction and production are critical to the profitability of the dairy enterprise. Cows productive life cycle begins with the parturition. Cows as a result require consistent cycles of conception and calving in order to begin subsequent lactation, which is a critical component of their productive life. It is therefore critical that a herd has a robust reproductive pattern. As a result, any herd reproduction issues can have devastating impact on the dairy farm. To protect the herd, and the enterprise these issues must be identified and addressed as soon as possible in this video we will be talking about the repeat breeder cows in cattle repeat breeder cows are the bane of any dairy enterprise and one of the major causes of economic loss so what is repeat breeder cow let's know that a cow that has regular ostrich cycle the cow does not possess or exhibit any palpable clinical abnormalities the dairy animal does not have any uncharacteristic vaginal discharge, is usually less than 10 years of age and the cow has calved once and has failed to conceive despite at least 3 or more consecutive inseminations. These animals will regularly come to heal but will not conceive despite mating. Now let's move on to the causes of RBS that is repeat breeder cow. First is genetics. One reason could be genetic abnormalities passed on from parent. Primarily defects or flaws that occur during the differentiation process could be responsible for the RB syndrome. Second is age. Age has a definitive role to play in fertility. There is a higher incidence of repeat breeding in older cows. Third is uterine infection and repeated osteoarthritis cycle. A healthy uterine environment facilitates normal life cycle of conception and calving it. Therefore, stands to reason that any abnormality or disease infecting the uterus will negatively impact the animal's health and its calving cycle. Disorders such as uterine infections, endometritis, pyometra, metritis, etc. cause a high embryo mortality. Fourth is congenital anatomical defect of the genital tract. The reproductive canal of cows offer the congenial atmosphere for oocyte growth, sperm transport, fertilization and implantation. Anatomical or functional defects of these organs will cause gestational failure and repeat breeding. Fifth is improper ovarian function. Dairy cows often develop ovarian cysts which are the reasons for reproduction failure. It is also one of the main cause of repeat breeding in herds. Sixth is cause related to nutrition. Appropriate nourishment and optimal body weight ensures a healthy reproductive cycle. Malnourished and underweight cows show poor rates of conception. Cows must weigh between 240 to 275 kg for indigenous and jersey cross heifer and 350 kg for HF cross heifer. Seventh is artificial insemination. Any incorrect actions across the several stages that artificial insemination involves could result in failure to conceive by the dairy cow. Dairy cow that has come into heat in morning should be inseminated in the same day evening if came to heat on evening should be inseminated on the next day morning. As we have discussed the causes, let's talk about the treatment available. Repeat breeders should be carefully evaluated in order to define the most probable reason for the failure to conceive or failure in pregnancy maintenance. Initially, heat records should be evaluated to classify the cow as early or late repeat. Cows that have had three services and are not pregnant should be checked before serving again by a veterinarian. With treatment, prevention also plays a vital role. Ensure you are serving cows at the correct time. This means that all staff should know the sign of heat. Milk progesterone testing is also useful in this case. Cows in a true heat will have very low progesterone. Ensure insemination techniques are good as possible. This is particularly important if you use DIY AI. Do not serve cows previously diagnosed as pregnant without doing a cow side progesterone test to confirm it has a low progesterone and is not pregnant. If the cow is pregnant, AI may cause fetal loss. Identify and treat cows with whites before starting to serve them. Don't start serving too soon after calving. Herds that start early have lower pregnancy rates to service 
and so more repeat breeder cows minimize the stress at service for example try and avoid serving around turnout or when you change the diet so this was all about the topic for more such information on cattle health and dairy products keep watching so they should be ip this is yash saxena signing off